We've officially finished the Red Dead Online Blood Money update and now we're just about one month away, possibly even less, from the release of the next update. During this time, players have mixed feelings, some are looking forward to what's coming next, whereas others are wondering if it's possible for Rockstar to mess this game up even more. In this video, I'm going to be going through some leaks, speculation, what players would like to see, and some key facts about previous winter updates. Before getting into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Every single week, we're uploading the latest news and the latest tutorials around Red Dead Online. So if you are interested in that, then make sure you are following the channel. And getting back into the video, the Blood Money update didn't go down well with the dedicated fan base, but still as a whole, it's performing well. For those that don't follow the latest Red Dead Online news and our latest updates, they're still playing through the game. They're still enjoying the game and still Rockstar and Take Two are profitable just from Red Dead Online. So they're going to keep this going. I've seen people say that the Blood Money update was the last update for Red Dead, but this is not true. As Rockstar and Take Two are still getting more money from the updates than it costs for them to make, they now have a money making machine and will continue to push content. This is true with any company. So it's guaranteed that we're getting a new update in December. To further add to this, you can see the devs pushing content to the QA betas over on Steam. So with all of this in mind, let's actually go through some of the speculation. And a lot of this does leak over from what we've had in previous content drops. So the first thing that people are talking about is a trader enhancement. Last year with the Bounty Hunter enhancement, Rockstar added liveries to the Bounty Hunter wagon. Alongside this, they took the exact same liveries button and added it to the trader wagon, but they grayed it out. Lots of people then speculated from this point that the next major update, the summer update of 2021, was going to be a trader enhancement. We even talked about it quite a bit here on this channel and I even said that this wasn't going to happen. That video actually got quite a bit of hate and people were adamant that it was going to be a trader enhancement next. Obviously, now we all know that that wasn't the case. Instead, we got a blood money update, but now that that has finished, people are starting to put this trade enhancement back on the table. And even though I said within videos and podcasts that it wasn't going to happen for the summer update, it is more likely for it to happen as part of a winter update. The other bit of speculation is that we're going to have a collector expansion. Now, this is not something that players have been particularly excited to see, but Rockstar specifically talked about this as one of the first role expansions. They said they liked the idea of doing posse collection sets, where each posse member needs to go to a different location to find a different part of a collectible. But once done, the posse will reunite at a certain location, and there they'll put each piece of a collectible together where they can log it within their journal. Some players have been bringing this up all over again because it's now been two years since this was first announced. It was part of a Polygon interview with some of the Rockstar devs back in early 2020. It was released just after the Moonshine update, and here we are two years later, and none of this of what they've talked about has actually been added. The other thing that they mentioned in this exact same interview were different types of properties and communal spaces. We got the Moonshine Shack, which was the update before, but since then there's been nothing else. Some players are talking about getting more expansions for the Moonshine Shack, like what we already have with the Underground Bar and the Band expansion. But what fans are really excited to see is different types of properties end of. It's been three years and so far we do only have the one. And some players have hundreds of thousands of dollars, some even have thousands of gold bars with nothing to spend it on, and a property would be perfect. There's also been talks from fans about finishing a Land of Opportunity missions, which is the Jessica LeCurk story. There's been a lot of people that actually have forgotten about this, and that's purely because it has been a very long time. The last thing that we heard from Jessica is that she needs to lay low after shooting up Blackwater. Since then, we've done a lot and a lot of time has passed and some players believe it's time for her story to end. And the final major thing that players really have been talking about is the expansion to Guido Martelli and the criminal activities. Now, this may be more players hoping rather than anything else. I think everything else that we've previously mentioned have had quite a few leaks back in it. But with this one, players really wanted to see some major heist with what came with the Blood Money update, but unfortunately it wasn't that. So now players are hoping that the Blood Money update was the first part, and we had that in July. 
And with the late 2021 update release coming in December, they're hoping that there's an expansion where it gives us something a bit more in depth. Now, this is what a lot of players within the community are talking about. Rockstar have also shown interest in Taxidermy. This is a lady called Mrs. Hobbs who is referenced a few times in The Naturalist. There's also been talks of a fishing role with Legendary Fish. This could be a next tier to a trader. Alongside this, there's been new Legendary Animal talks and also, of course, Heist. But Heist has been mentioned ever since day one of Red Dead Online. But whenever it's mentioned, Rockstar say they're coming, it just needs to fit within the progression. So with all of this in mind of what players are actually hoping for with expansions to previous role, finishing content that's already within the game, and of course the big highlight being properties and heist, let's actually talk about some dates in which this could potentially release. The updates that we always get for Red Dead arrive on a Tuesday, so knowing this, there's only a limited amount of dates that Rockstar can release an update. This is 16th of November, 23rd of November, 30th of November, 7th of December, 14th of December, and 21st of December. This is six potential dates in total, but we could take this a step further by saying that the dates in November are extremely unlikely. There's a chance, but it's not a high chance. Rockstar will want to take advantage of the Christmas holidays, and these dates are way too far from taking advantage of that. The update would come out, and if the past has anything to say, it would suggest that players will be bored or even finish the content by the following week. This is not enough to last all the way to the Christmas holidays, where they're still hoping players would have that hype. It's also unlikely that the update will be released on the 21st. This is just a bit too close to Christmas, which really makes it come down to two dates the 7th and the 14th. These are the dates in my eyes which have the highest chance if Rockstar are still looking for a Tuesday release. With the festive holidays, Rockstar will also be releasing a GTA update. Typically, Rockstar goes one Red Dead, one GTA, one Red Dead, one GTA. And there's only been a handful of times in the past couple of years where they haven't followed this pattern. Over the last year, it's been Bounty Hunter expansion on the 1st of December 2020, Kyo Perico heist two weeks later on the 15th of December 2020, then we went back to a Red Dead update, which was the Blood Money update on the 13th of July 2021, and then we had the Los Santos Tuners update on the 20th of July 2021. So on this note, it's likely that the Red Dead update will come first, and then we'll get the GTA update after, but it really doesn't make too much of a difference when it comes to the winter content drops because it's normally just days or even weeks apart. It's not like what we've had before with summer updates where the updates for GTA has been two to three months before what we had with Red Dead. As said, Rockstar wants to take advantage of the seasonal holidays for both games. They're both getting updates before Christmas, but it does still mean there's a limited amount of time that they both can be released, and they won't get an update both on the exact same day, because Rockstar wants to force players to go all the way to one game, and once that starts to die down a bit, they want them to go all the way over to the second game rather than having to make the choice on the exact same day. Now this is where we get to some bad news about the seasonal update with Red Dead. Typically, the seasonal update is the smallest of the two updates we get per year. Since the release of Red Dead Online, there have been nine updates, four of them being incredibly small that it's not even worth mentioning. But so far, with the five major ones that we've had, there's been three within the summer and two within the winter. Within the summer, we've had the Frontier Pursuits update, which is by far the most popular update that we've had to date. We then had the Naturalist update, which didn't go down too well with fans, but it did last incredibly long. There was a lot of content within it, so it took us all the way from the point in which it was released in the summer, all the way to when the next update released in December. It's also the exact same thing with the Blood Money update. It wasn't the most popular update ever, it actually disappointed a lot of fans, but it did last incredibly long, going from the point in which it was released all the way up until the next content drop. With the winter updates, we did have the Moonshiner. The Moonshiner was actually a popular role, it just didn't last too long. We actually finished the content by the time we got to end of January. And of course, there was the Bounty Hunter expansion, which seems like Rockstar actually forgot to advertise it. This was just an extra 10 rolls on top of the Bounty Hunter and only 3 legendary bounties with some wagon liveries. And this has been by far the worst update that we've had in the past couple of years. So going off previous years, I wouldn't get your hopes up too high for it to be something amazing. This is why earlier I said there's a higher chance 
announce that this time round for the winter update that we could get a trader enhancement, a collector expansion, or an expansion for Guido Martelli and the criminal activities. And this is purely because in the last couple of years, Rockstar have been known for the winter update to actually just base it off previous content that's already within the game, rather than delivering something entirely new. If you're someone that plays both Red Dead and GTA, then a good thing for you is that normally GTA has the opposite to this. In the summer, they have a relatively smaller update to what they get in the winter. The winter update is typically where they get their biggest and best updates of the year. Now, so far, this is just what players are talking about for that Red Dead Online update. And we've also looked back in the past of what Rockstar have delivered before. Let me know in the comment section down below what content you guys would like to see. It could be something that we already mentioned within this video, or it could be something that we haven't even talked about. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Personally, I'm really hoping that we can actually get some things to buy. The Blood Money update had a lot of different types of missions to go through, but it was limited on the items that you're able to buy, especially for a long-term player. I have hundreds of thousands of dollars and over a thousand gold bars on my main account, with there also being multiple other accounts that I use to create content. And it was only three items to buy within the Blood Money update. And none of these items were actually worth it. It was the different hats you was able to get after completing the opportunities on Ruthless. So I would actually like to have some items that I can actually buy into. Whether it be different types of properties, different types of wagons, different types of horses, it really doesn't matter. I just want some items that I can actually buy. Well, I know that this is only a problem for a very small percentage of players within the community. So it could be another year in which Rockstar ignore the long-term players and actually just focus on the bigger picture. If you do have any questions, questions about anything that we talked about in this video and then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to see ya